Go make some slime! Slime! Welcome back, scientists! Today we are completing an experiment that you will get to play with afterwards, just like our slime from yesterday. Can you guess what we're making? Mm. What do you think? Peanut butter? No. A couch? What? I can't do that. Oh. Play-Doh? Uh, yes, that is exactly right. We are making Play-Doh today. So you're gonna watch this video and then you will begin experimenting on your own. Now you might need your parents' help measuring out some of the supplies and that's, that's okay. okay. So are you ready to get started? First you will gather all the supplies around your house and set up your experiment area. You're gonna need flour, salt, vegetable oil, food coloring, and a little bit of water. So we will start by adding four cups of flour, we have measured out right here, and one and a half cups of salt. So I'm gonna pour the flour yeah. in there. Professor Neutron, that's perfect. There we perfect. go. And then I'll pour the salt in there. All right. Once you get that all poured in there, you're gonna wanna mix it really well. That's right. Then we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of water to the flour and salt mixture. Make sure to mix it really well. Right there. Ooh, that Ooh, is looking, looking good. good. Not quite Play-Doh yet, but we're so, on our way. After that, you're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil at the beginning. That's okay, right. you so I'll mix while you pour the vegetable oil. oil. Pour right. that in there. Just like that. Now, now this spoon is working pretty good, but I think I think it's time, as we always yeah. say in wacky science, to get a little bit messy. So we're gonna. We're gonna get that off get there. The spoon out of there. And then we are gonna use our hands. Look at oh. that. This will help our consistency. So the more you put in, the more gooey and sticky it will become. So be careful. If it does get a little too gooey or sticky, you can always add a little extra flour to even it out. I think I think we need a little bit more vegetable oil Ooh, in there. That's perfect. Let's get that in there. Ooh, this that? is perfect because being scientists and doing experiments is all about trial and error. That's you just right. gotta keep adding more, and again, like I said, if you add too much, you can just add some more flour back in there, but I think, I think it's looking, looking pretty, pretty good. good. So once you get your mixture right to where you want it, you're gonna wanna take it and make it into little balls, just like this. Ooh, I'm gonna get We're gonna some. make little balls right here. All Look at our right. Play-Doh balls right there. Look at that. Oh, this is perfect. Kinda like this? Beautiful, like perfect. This? So then you're gonna take some Ziploc bags that you have, so then you're gonna put the Play-Doh in your bags, just like so, and this is where it gets fun. We're gonna add four to six drops of food coloring inside each bag. My favorite part. I think I'm gonna do some green today. Ooh, well, if I can see go. the green right there. And I'm gonna go with my second favorite color, which is yellow. So we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six. That one looks okay, good. Okay, I'll, I'll do six. All right. And we're gonna zip it up. And you wanna make sure that your Ziploc bag is nice and closed, because we don't want our Play-Doh running away from us. That is right. So you're just gonna press on your Play-Doh in the bag, mix all of that food coloring in with your Play-Doh mixture. It may take some time, so we're not in a hurry. We have plenty of time That's here. right. Remember, science is all about taking your time. Oh, look at that looking good. And if it's you realize your Play-Doh just isn't as bright as you like it, feel free to open up your bag, add a little bit more of your food coloring in there. I think I'm gonna add some more green into mine. I kinda like the pastel color. I think I'm gonna keep mine how it is. There this we go. Is perfect. How's yours coming along? Oh, it's getting there. Ooh. How's yours? Oh, yours is looking really, really good. good. Professor Ruthie, you are a master Play-Doh maker. That's right. It kinda mad our colors kinda match our uh, goggles up there. Look at that. Keep on mixing. So you're gonna keep on mashing until you got that color just as you like it. I think mine's about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. You keep look on. At that. Keep I'm gonna on keep on mashing. Though. All right. How? Wow! Look is at it? that Play-Doh ball. That, that is a beautiful good. yellow color right there. And look at that. Well, guys, now you have a beautiful ball of Play-Doh that you can play with. So make sure you clean up your experiment area before you play with your Play-Doh. And once you're done playing with your Play-Doh, go ahead and wash your hands for 20 seconds with your soap and your warm water. Have fun with your Play-Doh, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye, scientists. Bye, scientists. Ooh.